You may not be able to go landscape. Not able to go landscape. And we're live. Hi, storytellers. Uh, we've just loved all of your comments about your favorite mouse-related stories. Uh, so we thought we'd share one of our favorite mouse-related stories. This is Mouse Shapes by Ellen Stoll Walsh. And it's actually the story of three mice, Violet, Martin, and Fred. One day, they were running from the cat. <gasps> Hurry, they said. Let's hide in here. <gasps> Me too. After a while, Fred said, I think we lost him. Hey, look, says Violet. We've been hiding in shapes. We can make things out of these shapes. This square with a triangle on top makes a perfect house for a little mouse. This triangle with a rectangle makes a tree. And this circle is the sun. But these triangles are different, says Fred. Triangles are tricky, says Violet. But any shape with three sides is a triangle. Well, Fred put two circles on a rectangle. Hey, look, it's a cart. Then they put two diamonds together and made a book. I love to read, says Violet. Oh, here's an oval with two circles. Now, if we add eight triangles, what will we have? Ooh. Back there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We made a fish. <gasps> Watch out, says Violet. The cat likes fish. Hey, let's make the cat. A big circle for the head, two circles for the eyes, and triangles for the ears, teeth, and nose. <laughs> it looks just like the real cat, only better. But just then, the real cat pounced, and the mice ran away. They didn't come back until the cat was gone. That cat's too sneaky, says Violet. If only we were bigger. Hey, says Fred, I have an idea. And those clever mice got to work. They used a circle for the body, a triangle for the head, two big circles to make ears, and two more circles each for some eyes. They even were able to make smaller shapes out of bigger shapes. And they made a giant scary mouse. In fact, they made three. And the next time that cat came around, oh, he got so scared, he ran away fast and never came back. All right, what a scaredy cat, said Violet. Whew, now what can we make for the mouse to have? It's lunchtime, says Martin. Let's make some Swiss cheese. 
and they did what a great story I just love how we uh, get to talk about lots of different shapes there's so much color involved and you know what else those mice get to deal with their fears, which is a very important part of uh, growing up. Um, I do want to point out a couple tips for you storytellers. The first is I did put a little bit of double stick tape on the back of the uh, shapes piles to make sure they would really stick over the mice. Um, another thing is uh, this is an emergent reader book, so um, there aren't too many words to the story. Feel free to ad lib a little bit. You might need extra time while you're putting your pieces on the board, um, and also you you know might you might want to embellish something a little bit, uh, depending on what's appropriate for your group at the time. Um, and you know what. Uh, feel free to absolutely put this right down on your center. My favorite thing is to tell the story and then give it to the children and let them retell it. Thanks. Have a great day.